To use baking powder effectively as a pest control measure, it's important to understand how to apply it properly. Baking soda won't do any good if it's kept hidden in your cupboard. Different forms, such as pastes, homemade sprays, and sprinkles, serve various purposes. You can use baking soda in the garden, in the house, or anywhere else you need it. The key is knowing where and when to use it and which pests you're targeting. 1. Cockroaches. Baking soda can kill cockroaches, but first, you need to make it appealing to them, as they are not naturally attracted to its taste or smell. Adding a bit of sugar can make the mixture more enticing. For the baking soda to be effective, it must be in powder form, otherwise, it won't work. Combining baking soda with vinegar is not recommended, as the vinegar will neutralize the baking soda. Similarly, using warm water or mixing it into food will render the soda ineffective. When cockroaches consume the raw powder, it reacts with the moisture in their bodies, causing the baking soda to expand. Since cockroaches have a hard exoskeleton, this expansion crushes their bodies from the inside out. 2. Centipedes. Baking soda alone won't eliminate centipedes on your kitchen floors, but it can help if you're dealing with centipedes climbing up your drains. To address this issue, use a baking soda and vinegar rinse. When poured down the drain, the expanding mixture of baking soda and vinegar produces CO2, which can suffocate the centipedes. Start by pouring one cup of baking soda down the drain slowly and evenly to coat the interior. Then, add about two cups of vinegar to the drain. This will create a bubbling reaction that pushes the mixture further down the drain. You may need to repeat the baking soda and vinegar rinse several times to effectively address your centipede problem. 3. Snails and slugs. Similar to vinegar or salt, you can use baking soda in the garden to eliminate snails and slugs. However, this method can be quite harsh, as the baking soda adheres to their slimy skin and gradually dehydrates them. For a quicker and more humane approach, use a generous amount of baking soda to kill the pests more swiftly. Lightly sprinkle baking soda around your garden soil to target snails and slugs and help prevent future infestations. Focus on areas where you've observed snails and slugs or where they are likely to appear, such as compost piles, tomato plants, and other attractive spots. 4. Ants. Baking soda can kill ants if they consume it. When ants ingest the baking soda, it reacts with the water and acids in their bodies, causing it to expand and dehydrate the ant, similar to the effect on cockroaches. To increase the likelihood of ants eating the baking soda, mix it with sugar. The worker ants will carry this mixture back to their colony, which helps address the entire infestation. To improve results, locate the ant nest and surround it with a baking soda and sugar mixture. 5. Mice and Rats Baking soda can kill mice and rats because they cannot expel gas buildup from their systems. When ingested, the baking soda expands and causes gas to accumulate inside their bodies, which can ultimately be fatal. To make this effective, create a mixture that will attract the rodents. Combine two-thirds of a cup each of baking soda, sugar, and flour. Adjust these proportions based on your needs. Once mixed, add a small amount of warm water to form a paste, but ensure it isn't too runny. It should be thick enough to shape into balls. Place the baking soda balls in areas where mice or rats are likely to find and consume them. 6. Fleas. A mixture of baking soda and salt can effectively kill fleas, but it's important to use fresh baking soda rather than an old packet that's been sitting in your cupboard. The combination of baking soda and salt works by dehydrating fleas and their eggs, eventually killing them. To use this method, Mix equal parts salt and baking soda and sprinkle it generously over carpets, rugs, and other soft furnishings. Use a brush or broom to work the mixture deeply into the fibers. Leave it overnight and vacuum thoroughly the next morning, making sure to clean all the nooks and crannies. 
dispose of the vacuum bag or filter outside to prevent any surviving fleas from re-entering your home. For treating fleas on pets, mix one and a half cups of water with one teaspoon of baking soda. Apply the mixture to your pet's wet fur, avoiding their face. Let it sit for a minute before rinsing thoroughly. 7. Bed Bugs Baking soda can also be effective in killing bed bugs by creating a dehydrating effect similar to that seen with other insects. Additionally, some grains of baking soda may break inside the bugs, causing internal damage. To use this method, mix baking soda with water to create a paste, and apply it to common bed bug hiding spots, including the bed and surrounding areas. It might be best to sleep elsewhere while this treatment is in place. As bed bugs emerge to search for a meal, they will come into contact with the baking soda paste, which should kill them. The paste will dry out over time, so you'll need to vacuum it up and reapply fresh paste as needed. While baking soda can be helpful, it may be necessary to use more potent methods if you're dealing with a significant infestation. So what if you find your baking soda mixture isn't working? If your baking soda mixture doesn't seem effective, it might be due to the baking soda being outdated or old. To test its freshness, add a little water to a small amount of baking soda. If it fizzes for a few seconds or longer, the soda is still active. If there's no fizzing, consider getting a new container. If your baking soda repellent still isn't working, ensure that the insects are actually consuming the mixture. For example, if you're using it to kill cockroaches, make sure they are eating it. Otherwise, it won't be effective. Baking soda can also be used for other purposes around the home. It acts as both a fungicide and an insecticide. To prevent powdery mildew on plants, sprinkle baking soda at the base of your plants. For treating mildew, mix a teaspoon of baking soda with water in a spray bottle. Adding a drop of liquid dish soap helps the mixture adhere. Spray it on the plant and let it dry, reapplying until the fungal infection is resolved. Baking soda can also promote blooming in plants that prefer alkaline soil. While it can help with fungal infections, be cautious using baking soda around plants as excessive amounts may seep into the soil and inhibit growth. A light sprinkle around tomato plants or other plants targeted by insects is usually safe, but be careful not to harm beneficial insects. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.